Hi guys. Oh shit. Try again. Hi guys. It is a spectacularly gorgeous, over the top beautiful spring night here in the end times in Doomsday Trailer on this beautiful Sunday night, April 14th. No, you don't, don't worry, you're not going to get a pill. Bunch of fun to think she's getting a pill. Well, guys, it is a sad night here in Doomsday Trailer because I am down to my last blue pill. I am going to be blue pilled once again. You're all the red pilled, black pilled doomer. It's to take the blue pill gets to take the blue pill and no we're not talking Viagra we are talking clonopin, clomazepon or whatever it's called I call these beautiful little things clonopins washing it down with my second strong drink ah uh. Let the blue pill take hold. Uh, let the U.S. pharmaceutical industry do its job and uh, just bring me some fucking peace in, in, in this jangled brain of mine. I wonder how many people, I should have looked this up, or have scripts to clonopin in America today. How many of my fellow Americans, you know, hell, let's go all planet wide, are sitting here taking clonopins. Uh, this is my last one. I showed up here six months ago with 20 clonopins. And that was number 20. Yes. That is the dog's food getting ready. I cook for the dog. Yes, yeah, so uh, so I have had 20 clonopins in the last pretty much six months or five and a half months. I have no idea when I'm going to get my next clonopin. It would probably actually be fairly easy for me to go see a shrink in, uh, in Ithaca, New York and just show them some of my Humpty Dumpty Tribe videos and would be uh, prescribing me three clonopin a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. And uh, <laughs> here I sit drinking tequila and eating clonopins as I count down the days and Doomsday trailer, you know, just wondering. This, this is just my broken record whine of, I, 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 I am honestly just trying to figure out how it came to this. How did my fucking life come to this? Uh, as my my mantra in the birthday book for September twenty second, people about uh, isolation. What is it? Beware the depressive effects of isolation. And here I am one more time uh, at the end of a rutted out dirt road sitting in an old trailer at the end of a rutted out dirt road in a swamp in Florida in the middle of Trumpville, USA. Well, I have been here for six months in Florida, and uh, needless to say, I have not made one friend in the six months. Not one friend, and I have fewer friends now than I did when I first got to Florida four years ago. I have, I have lost friends. Uh, 
And same for New York. When, when, I, when I get back to New York in two weeks, uh, I'll be getting back to New York to fewer friends than I had when I, when I first got to New York four years ago. I, I thought the equation, and we're not just talking girlfriend here. I, I, I'm just talking running buddies that you're supposed to live somewhere for like four years uh, or at least half the year for four, you know what I'm saying. And, and, and I thought it was supposed to work the longer you live somewhere, uh, the more friends you're supposed to make. Uh, that's how it was supposed to work and the better the chance obviously of finding a girlfriend or boyfriend or whatever the hell you're you're looking for that the longer you live somewhere it should increase your chances of finding both running buddies and uh and, and your doomer chick forever or whatever the hell you're looking for i am farther away in both of those categories than I was four years ago. I, uh, you know, and, and I'm talking during the Corona panic. During the Corona panic, I, I was less socially isolated than I am now. Four years later, I am uh, quite a bit more socially isolated. And of course, here in Florida, I have no female energy in my life. Zero. Well, you know, I talk to a couple of my female neighbors at the dock every now and then. So, I mean, I guess for five minutes a day saying hello to my uh, female neighbors, maybe that counts as uh, having some female energy in my life. Uh, I have no female energy in my life. No, uh, no, no female running buddies, sure as shit. Uh, no girlfriend, no doomer chick forever. Uh, I, I, I am farther away from finding my doomer chick forever uh, in, in Florida than I, than I was four years ago. And as far as I know, the same goes for New York. That I have, if anything, I, I have lost traction. Uh, and and uh, 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 across the entire uh, social connection fabric, uh, uh, by every metric, every measure, uh, I, I have fewer friends now than I had four years ago. And you know, I'm, 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 you know, I've been thinking about my siblings. Okay. So my oldest brother got married in 1968. He was 22 years old. He was from Atlanta. And uh, after college, uh, he took a trip to Germany, met some girl from Vermont over in Germany, and they got married in 1968. They are still married today, uh, 1968. Uh, they have been married. So my second oldest brother and my sister like me, they had seven-year marriages. All three of us, our first marriages lasted seven years, and then we got divorced. The difference being that, see, my, my sister was married for seven years uh, and, and met some guy uh, and in 1986. She got married in 1986 to her second husband, and they are still together. And my other brother, 
uh, met a woman uh, through the personals. I've told that story. I won't rehash that. So he, in 1992, he uh, took out a personals ad and uh, met, and so they have been together 20, 32 years. Uh, so there you go. So one brother married in 1968, my sister married in 1986, and my other brother, I don't think they ever got officially married, but as far as I know, I haven't heard anything differently that they have been together since 1992. And then there's me. And then there's me. Oh, fuck. And so my, my buddy and I, uh, a male buddy of mine, from some little, well, he moved to this little hick town that makes Dunellen uh, look like the big city. So uh, he came down here last night to look for some big city excitement in Dunellen, Florida. We were at this bar. Uh, so we, we go to this place just five minutes from here. Last night on a Saturday night, live band going and everything. Of course, I fell in love with the girl in the band. And yeah, so there, there, there's basically, he's a very good looking available bachelor. He's, I think, 10 years younger than me. Uh, is kind of in the same social situation I am in his little hick town. And, uh, you know, we're looking around the room the girl on stage is pretty good looking in the band. Of course, I was in love with her. And then there was one good looking woman in the audience. And I don't know how many of these fat, ugly women my age. We were like sitting kind of next to this line of these three women. My, and, and, I'm, and, and I'm looking back and forth, sitting there at the bar looking back and forth, you know, from the good-looking woman on the stage, the one attractive woman in the audience, looking at the two of them, and then looking at these three fat, ugly women there at the bar, and, uh, and saying to my buddy, you know, like, dude, like, which is more depressing? Which one of these? This is the reason I don't ever go out anymore. Uh, which is more depressing? Is it, is it more depressing that I am never for the rest of my life to the day I die have a woman that looks like either of the two good-looking women in there is it more depressing that I will never in the, until the day I die have one of those good-looking women or is it more depressing that the women that I might get interested in me are those fat ugly women at the bar and, and, the, and those fat ugly women you know, all, all three of them about my age maybe even younger than me uh, you, you, you know, look, looking at them uh, and, and just trying to imagine being in a relationship with them. And, and they were probably, you know, pretty nice women. Uh, they would probably, on, on a lot of levels, uh, make a, uh, you know, make an okay girlfriend if I were blind. If I were blind. Uh, I could probably be happy. Uh, well, they might have been Trump tards being in Denellum, Florida, but 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 you know what I'm saying. But so I, I, I'm going back and forth from the depression of looking at the two good-looking women to the depression uh, of looking at these fat, ugly women uh, who I would have no interest in. Uh, and 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 just thinking, uh, no, all right, take off. 
Jesus, I can't even keep a fucking dog around anymore. Even the fucking dog. Uh, yes. Even the fucking dog has abandoned me. Ugh, oh, Jesus. So what? You don't want to sit here. You just say, Pop, I've had it. Uh, go on with your little whine. You, you've got your soulmate right here. You don't appreciate me. Uh, you do not fucking get so fuck you, Pop. Uh, I, I'm going to go off by myself. I don't appreciate what you have uh, right beside you. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go off and say go fuck yourself. Oh, Jesus. And uh, so my buddy and I, you know, we were talking about uh, he's, I don't think he's going to do it, but I don't know. Uh, you know, he's a city boy and just saying, uh, he, on one hand, as much as he loves small town life and living out in the country and stuff, it's, uh, you, you know what I'm saying, what, what it does to your chances of, 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 of both meeting a woman and uh, meeting friends. Uh, and so he's toying with the idea, am I going to throw in the fucking towel on uh, you know living in this little small town, having no mortgage, being totally free to do my stuff, or I'm gonna, am I going to go back there to that fucking rat race in the city? Uh, th 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 those are your two choices. And it's pretty much, uh, you know, no shit Sherlock. So I called this 81-year-old friend of mine in... Uh, in Texas, and, and she even moved out of Austin. She moved into a small town about a little over an hour outside of Austin. Call her today just for someone to talk to, and uh, she goes, "Sorry, Hammond." She goes, "I don't have any time to talk. I'm I'm late picking up my new friend. My new friend. Her new friend's name is Maggie." Uh, so my so my 81 year old friend ha has met uh, a new friend named Maggie, and uh, so she and Maggie, uh, who, who who I guess is 81 years old, that they're going to a house party in Austin, one of these house concerts, you know, where some musician comes and plays in a private home and. A, you know, there's a potluck dinner, and there's live music on a beautiful Sunday afternoon, and then there's usually a picking party afterwards. And uh, 81 years old, uh, just making all her new friends, heading to uh, some house party and probably fucking picking party in Austin, Texas on a beautiful spring Sunday afternoon. Sorry. Can't talk, Hambone. <sighs> you know, the, 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 the shit just eats my brain. Uh, so I've got... I have 10 more days here in, uh, in Doomsday Trailer. 10 more days, and I basically have three things left to do. Which I'll, so maybe uh, I'll have something to do for three days, and then I guess I have to pack up. So I kind of have something to do with myself for four days. But that basically means I have six days out of the out of my last ten days here to uh, to fucking do what to uh, sit here with my thumb up my ass. You know I've done everything that needs doing down here. I've already. Uh, it got a bunch of jobs piling up in New York that need my attention and shit already. 
starting to think about all the stuff I have to do in New York, sitting around here with my fucking thumb up my ass for six days. Uh, <laughs> and staring at a fucking little screen uh, for 16 hours a day. I do not consider a life. I'm, I'm good for about four hours of it uh, each day of that fucking screen time and doom scrolling and shit. And uh, just, just, and, 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 and I see absolutely no change, no hope of any change anywhere on the horizon in Florida or New York. Uh, you know, as I was telling my buddy, I was like, you know, the, the goddamn Airbnb uh, is my social life, that I actually enjoy being a fucking Airbnb host because I actually, you know, get to have some contact uh, w w with other humans. He was saying, I think I mentioned this in a rant recently about uh, the guy uh, one block from here, I guess, died last year. And, you know, living there alone in a fucking single wide trailer. And he wasn't even at the end of a dirt road. He was on the corner lot uh, with, uh, you know, quite a bit of traffic going in front of his house. Uh, he died... And they figured he had been dead for two weeks before anybody even realized he was dead. And, that, and, and that's kind of, you know, what my buddy was saying last night. You know, he just, uh, like, look at me, he, he goes, Hamba, hey, and he, he goes, you know, you and I are totally alone. It totally alone, uh, and as he was saying, the same thing that that if he you know living in this little uh, small town, this little redneck town in Florida, that that he could drop dead, and it might be a week before anyone would even realize uh, that 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 he had fucking died. And if it weren't for uh, Brother Aaron, you know who owns this, uh, who owns this place, you know my 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 landlord is one of my uh, lieutenants on Humpty Dumpty Tribe. If, if 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 not for the social media connection between me and that that just happens to be between me and my landlord, if if my landlord here at Doomsday Trailer was not someone who tuned into my videos every day. I mean, Aaron, Aaron is the only reason why I would not lie here for two weeks rotting. I guess Sancho, if he couldn't get out, I guess Sancho would just eat me. Uh, until he starved to death. If, if it were not for, for Aaron, I, I could easily see myself uh, dying uh, in, 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 in this fucking trailer at the end of this dirt road. Uh, but before anyone found me. You know, even that bitch that killed herself at the end of that dirt road. Uh, a couple of years ago, you know, she killed herself on Friday, and her friends didn't find her till Sunday. I mean, she so she she lay there uh, with her head blown off for two days uh, after she blew her fucking brains out on her living room couch. Uh, two days uh, she lay there dead, but before anybody, you know, and she had kids and everything. Uh, before anybody figured out she was dead. I, 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 I could easily be here for two weeks dead and, and not one fucking human being on a planet of eight billion people would know it. I guess eventually, I, I, I don't know, I, I mean, 
I would, you know, once I was rotting Sancho after he ate all of me he could, you know, he would starve to death. He's shitting all over the <coughs> fucking floor. I don't know if the stench, I honestly don't know if Sancho and I would create enough stench to alert uh, the neighbors. Uh, I, I have never had one of my neighbors ever come over here. I have not had one. I've been here six fucking months. You know, I meet all these folks at the dock, uh, blah, blah, blah. I have never once had anybody, uh, you, you, they see me day after day down there, and put in their boats, not one fucking invitation to go on a fucking 10 minute boat ride. Not one time has anybody said, uh, you, you know, dude, do you want to uh, go on a fucking boat ride? For Never, never happened. Uh, I have never had, and, and you know, and I, and I get along fine with these people, Trump tards and all. Uh, I, I have never in six months uh, had a single invitation to drop by uh, one of my neighbor's houses. Uh, you know, I was out here barbecuing fucking chicken uh, by myself today. I, I, I have never invited a neighbor over here in six months. Never happened. So, uh, yeah, I could sit here dead and rotting for two weeks, <laughs> you know, and, 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 and my buddy, uh, same thing. Uh, you know, how would I know? But, uh, I, I, I just wonder right now how many millions of people in this country are so fucking alone in their lives, so completely fucking left out there to dry alone. Uh, probably mostly uh, people my age and older, but not, not necessarily. Uh, how many people, and I think the number is in the millions that uh, people could uh, drop dead in, in their own fucking house and uh, <clears throat> I mean who would figure it out and there's there's probably millions of people right now who could drop dead tonight and sit here and rot without one fucking human being uh, on this planet knowing about it knowing that they're dead, giving a flying fuck uh, that they're dead. Uh, I, 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 I mean, I, I don't know where the fuck we've come to, uh, to to get to this point. I have no idea how I got, well, you know, I can go through all of the, uh, the fucking reasons uh, Hambone, uh, you moved from fucking Austin. You didn't fall off the social ladder. You jump. Uh, all of this shit uh, that you have nobody except yourself to blame for the choices you made to end up uh, in, 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 in this fucking shape. Uh, just where you are facing just, just pretty much being, uh, except with a dog, uh, not, not counting a dog, uh, you are going to, for all intents and purposes, uh, be fucking alone uh, till the day you die. You're never gonna, you're never gonna wake up uh, next to a woman. Uh, you're never going to go to bed next to a woman again as long as you fucking live. You're never going to wake up uh, in the arms of a woman as long as you fucking live. Uh, so, 
you'll have to get your social intercourse, uh, you know, hanging out at the dock, talking to Trump Tars, or talking to your your guest at your vacation rental uh, for five minutes a day. And as much as I love my little imaginary friends on uh, on social media, you, you know, guys, as much as I love you guys, it ain't the fucking same. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, all of you guys, I will never meet. <sighs> anyway, the clonopin is taking effect. I can feel the the hammer inside my skull behind my eyes starting to lose some of its pounding energy and uh, so I'm going to sit here and uh, just let the clonopin in the alcohol lull me to sleep and then figure out where my next clonopin is coming from. Could you imagine taking three clonopin a day, seven days a week, for the rest of your fucking life? It, it, it sounds pretty inviting. This is the reason why there are millions of Americans taking on all, all of this shit. Because it fucking dulls the brain. It quiets the fucking noise inside your brain. That's what they're created to do. Is, uh, is, is get you to not question why you're such a miserable fuck. That's the definition of an anti... I don't know if clonopin... I don't even know what it's considered. Is it... I don't think it's even considered... I don't know what the fuck it is. I think it might be an anti-anxiety. It, 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 it was created to pickle your brain. Especially in combination with alcohol. Uh... Anyway, get out there and enjoy pickling your brain with clonopin. And if anybody has a line on some clonopin, do me a huge favor. Email me at Humpty Dumpty Tribe at gmail.com. And uh, we will figure out how you can get me some clonopin. Well, you still can. I am off to uh, watch Netflix now and finish pickling my brain on this exciting Sunday night in Doomsday Trailer. Bye, guys.